Hello everyone. Uh, I thought to make a quick tutorial on how to run a DC operating point simulation uh, of a very simple circuit in Cadence. I chose this circuit. It has four resistors, two voltage sources, and a current source. Uh, I intentionally chose this circuit as it has both voltage and current sources. Just look at the circuit. I'll be building the circuit in Cadence. After you have launched the Cadence, uh, what I would like you to do is to go to the tools, click the tools, and then choose the library manager. Uh, this is the point from uh, onwards we'll be gonna work in this uh, library manager. So I, we have created this test class before. We've been building all of our circuits in the test class. So I'm going to go into the file. First, I have to select the test class, then I'll go to the file and I'll say new and a cell view. In the cell view, I'm going to name the, the cell as Sir uh, 53, as this is the number of text 53. I'll choose the type of schematic, application is schematics L. I'll say, okay, perfect. I'll wait for my schematic window to open. Here's my schematic window. Perfect, it's open now. And uh, this is the place where we will build a circuit. Uh, so first of all, uh, I want to create a resistor. So the, the thing that we create or build is called an instance. So resistance, capacitor, a voltage source, they're called instance or instantiating. So I'm going to instantiate a resistor. I'll go to the create and I'll click the instance. So that's the instance. It says where, I'll go, go browse. This is an analog library resistor that I found in the analog library. I'll go here into the second search space. I'll write RES. Resistor is found. The symbol is here. I'll say, all right, close. I'll go, I'm going to hide it. So we need one vertical resistor. Perfect. I'll put the resistor here. And then I can hit the R key to rotate the resistor. I need three horizontal resistors as per the schematic diagram. So I'll click one uh, and I'll just put the second one here and I'll hit the skip. I need another horizontal resistor, but I want to show you how to copy. Uh, what we'll do, we hit the C key. C will, the moment I hit the C key, you'll see my cursor will have a plus button, which is, is, it tells us that it's in the copy mode. I'll hit the C key. And I can select any component within my schematic and we'll start making its copies. So I'll hit the resistor, resistor is clicked, and there you go. I'll make one copy. Once I'm done, I'll hit the escape key. Otherwise, I can make another copy, which I don't want. Similarly, for the delete, I'll hit the delete key, and you will see the cursors go back to the cross mark, which means any component that I'll click will now be deleted. For example, this component. I'll hit the escape key. I'll hit the C key. As I want one resistor, perfect. I'll make a copy here. and hit the escape key, perfect. Now, I'm not worried about the changing the values of the components right now. Uh, I'll instantiate two voltage sources instantiate, browse, uh, from, the, from the search window, I'll say VDC. Okay, here's the voltage DC. I'll hit close, I'll hit hide. Uh, volt, two voltage sources, one is here, the second one is here. Perfect, hit the escape key, instantiate, hit the I key, instantiate, uh, and then go to the browse. And IDC is an independent current source. Perfect, close, hide, and the current source is here. But I'll hit the rotate key because it's in the rotated form. Uh, this is the form. You see the current is going from left to right. And this is what actually we are looking for. Uh, there you go, and hit the escape key. You see the circuit diagram again. You see, that's the, the way I want the current source, two voltage sources, three resistors uh, horizontally, and one in the vertical position. I'll go back. I'll hit the uh, oh, ground. The ground is very important. I'll instantiate the ground. I'll go in high, I'll go to the browse, uh, G and D. There's a ground. I'll hit the close, hide. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'll hit the, it wasn't selected actually. Hit the ground, sorry, again, and then close and then hide. And I'll put the ground here. Hit the escape key, I'll say fit. I'll click the uh, F key to fit the window. Now I, I have to wire the circuit, so I'll take uh, start clicking with the W. So W means initiate a wire. I'll make all the connections wire, wire again, wire here, wire again, wire again, here. 
y between these two, y between these two, uh, y between these two, uh, there, the current source is connected this way. All right, escape. At this moment, I can hit the check and save button to know if my connections are all connected and if there is, uh, they are not left unconnected. So no warning, it means my connection is good. Now I'll hit the component, hit the Q key, and then I can select the, the resistance. The default value is one kilo ohm, but for this resistance, I need three ohm. I'll just click three, type in three and hit enter. Now it will become very easy. I'll select the next component, hit the Q key, at its value, which is six ohm, it is automatically at the point of resistance you see here, and then hit enter. Similarly, hit the next component, hit the Q, uh, the resistance value is 12 ohm, perfect. The component, hit the Q key, the value is 30 ohm, perfect, hit enter, done. This voltage source is 240 volt, hit Q, uh, DC voltage is 240 volt, hit enter, done. This one, Q, voltage source voltage is 60, hit enter. The software is intelligent. It knows which values you are looking to change and uh, next time it highlights the same very, very area. Current source, Q, DC current is 10 ampere, hit the enter, perfect. So my circuit is now done. Check and save once again, done. My values are done. So now I will go to the launch, say ADE XL, that's the environment where we'll do the simulation. It will open up, I'll create a new view. I'll say, okay. This is uh, the name of the cell is XS53. Yes, open with ADAXL, perfect. Say, okay. It's asking me to open it in the new tab. Yes, it's in the new tab. The mass schematic circuit is in this tab. The ADAXL environment is in this tab. I would like to open a test case. Uh, I have to open the test for the simulation. I'll have click in here, the test. And then I'll select my circuit, yes. And then from here, this is very important. You go to the setup, you go to the environment, and then you hit the run with 64 bit binary, say, okay, perfect. And now we have three different uh, ways to set up our analyze our outputs. So right now I have to choose the, the, the analyze analysis that uh, I'm interested in. I'll click this, the top uh, tab, the top uh, button, and you see my window opens up. It says me the analysis is transient or whatever I have, DC, AC. I want to run the DC uh, operating point simulation. So I'll click DC, then I'll go to the, uh, to the save DC operating point. Perfect, say okay, done. My test simulation analysis is created. I'll, I can close it. I can go and run the simulation now. This, the, this green button is for running simulation. I'll run the simulation. You see the simulation is running here, running. And finish, it's done. Uh, now it's, it gives me this uh, log window. I can close this log window. My output is here. I can go here, right click. I say annotate and DC node voltages and it starts giving me the node voltages. You see, I can see the node voltages here and I know the resistance, the potential difference across this resistor is this, different, uh, this voltage minus the 60 volt, whatever it is. And then I can go to the ADXL one environment again, right click to get all the information, uh, annotate, and I'll say DC operating points. Perfect. Now it gives me the voltages, the current, and the power uh, that is being dissipated by the resistors. So can you see that? I'll just go view and zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, just to show you the values. Perfect. Do you see that? We get the voltage of 57 volt, nine, current is 9.5 ampere, and the power being dissipated is 542, whatever, uh, 542 watts. Perfect, so that's done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll like it.